Good morning, everybody. Mrs. Van Pelt here, ready to do our Thursday morning meeting and academic worksheets. So I have my trusty little board here. We're going to start right here. Today is Thursday, April. Remember, it's a new month, 2nd, 2020. We're going to do our morning meeting. Our reading page, sunshine syllables in your ELA packet, the letter M, M, we're going to do capitals and lowercase, and then just a reminder every day, check out our YouTube channel under my name, Bethany Van Pelt, lots of cool stuff going up. All right, let's get right to it. So we're going to do our secret code. Now, because we have a new month, we had to figure out what number that month is. So let's do that together. I'm get my fingers in the picture. And we're going to do January, February, March, April. What number month? is April 4. Perfect. Check your data on our board. The middle secret code number is how many days are gone in the month of April. Two. And then as always, our year. Great. You can put just 20 if you want to. Our class decided to do 2020. Okay. Let me move this right out of here. Move on over to today's number. Check the data that you've already acquired or have. That middle number is always going to be our number of the day. If you find it, do a little thumbs up. Okay, what's the number of today? Today's number. Two. Perfect. Now I'm going to do like I did yesterday. I'm going to leave that because two is one of our sight words. So I'm going to leave this. We'll come back to it before the video ends. See if you guys can remember how to spell the word two. It's a little tricky. If you don't get it, we'll fix it. No big deal. All right. Just like you're reading from left to right, go right over to tally it. Add those tallies of two. Show me two tallies. Great. I'll do it right along with you. Okay, again, just like you're reading, we're going to drop down, go right over to the left to our place it. We're going to talk about our ones, tens, and hundreds. Now check back up either to your number of the day or how many tallies you have. Will that go in the ones, tens, or hundreds place? I'm going to let you go ahead and do it, and then we'll get together in about 10 seconds. Where does that two go? You're right, in the ones place. Are there any tens? There's not. What about hundreds? And it doesn't matter if you put a zero in there or an X, just lets me know and whoever you're working with that you've checked it and you know there's nothing there. <laughs> All right, right over to frame it. Do we have any tens? Check your place value chart. Are there any tens? So you have a whole 10 or parts of a 10? Right, we're gonna be doing those fraction uh, conversations. Parts of a 10. So how many parts of 10 are you gonna have? 
Yeah, so you're going to have two parts of 10. All right. I was trying to think if I should just show you what it looks like because we're going to be thinking about fractions and I know some of you fourth graders are headed on. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we're only using one 10 frame. So it's a 10 frame. This is a fraction piece. So you have a bottom and a top. We've talked about these before. And then out of that 10, how many X's did you put? Cool. You put two. So you have two pieces out of 10. Two pieces out of 10. That's a fraction. All right. We'll do that every morning because I kind of like that idea of thinking. Okay. Remember, drop on down, slide on over to before and after. What number goes in the middle? Right here. The two, because we're going to talk about before the two, after the two. Now, some of you guys will tell me it's not tricky. I know how to do this. Perfect. If you're ahead of me, go ahead and keep going. Okay. So we're going to talk about what comes before. And then for the after, we're going to jump twice. Okay. So this one's going to say two subtract one equals, and we're not sure yet because we need to find out this answer and then we'll do here. All right. Now remember, if you don't know, you have a number chart. So it says down here, I'm sorry, two subtract one. So I'm gonna look at two, I'm gonna bounce back one. Two, bounce back one. What's your answer? Cool. That is awesome. So we're going to take that number, put it right in there. Now what I need to do is put this number up here because we're going to smash it together, add it plus right here. And we're going to do two times one, two. So we know we're jumping twice. So put that two right in there. Now, if you're not sure what it is, go back to your tools what they're here for. It says we're going to do one and we're going to jump twice. Here we go. One, jump twice. One, two. Watch that again. One, jump twice. One, two. What's your answer? Yeah, perfect. And just drop that three right down in there. Okay, so always when we're finished, we're gonna count one, two, three. Okay, before we come over here to our number sentences, let's go back up to our word. Remember that two is a sight word. Let's see what you got. What's that beginning sound? T You're right. And some of you may have written to, I'm gonna write down here, like this, like this. Those words are also to. This means I'm going to the store. I want to go to also, but we need the number two up here. Great job if you did this. Awesome. We're looking for the two, the number two. See the difference? Cool. 
All right. Number sentence. I'm always going to do one here down at the bottom, a little tricky. You guys can do one on top. Okay, so I am um, going to do, let's see, it can only equal two. I'm going to do a multiplication. Now, you guys do have multiplication charts in your kit. Kindergartners, I'm sorry I did not give you a multiplication chart. So it should look like this. So today I'm going to do one group, group of two. So I'll show you here if we're going to do a picture for it. I have one group. You see that? One group. How many goes in each group? Two. One, two. Is my answer two? Yes. Do you want to get a little tricky? I'm going to put one kind of in the middle here. What if I change the multiplication family and to, did two groups of one? No big deal. We know what it says. We know it says two groups. Did you make two groups? One, two groups. How many in each group? One. Okay, let's try it. One, two. Did it work? Yeah, perfect. If you're not quite sure, you can head on over to your multiplication chart. And it's going to say um, one group of two is this two. Two groups of one. This doesn't sit right. My apologies, friends. I think the zeros and the ones are off of this one. Probably because we've been working on them. And we should already know how to do just those little ones. Do one right up here. I may have to send out a new multiplication chart. I'm not sure I like that one. If you're not done thinking about that, no worries. We're going to head on into our reading page. So if you still need more time, pause the video and I'll see you there. Okay. So yesterday we were working on filling in our 10 frame with the data that we have up here in our reading. So let's go ahead and read that again. It's going to be a little bit of a cruise in this ride just because we've read it a couple times. Here we go. Escape plan. There were 13 birds in a cage. Seven birds flew away. How many birds are there now? We figured out yesterday it's going to be a subtraction, a minus, a takeaway. So you guys put 13, remember it didn't matter as long as it stays in one 10 frame, doesn't matter where they go. You have to start with one 10 frame and then you can go to the next. So it says now we need to get rid of seven of them. We already put our 13. So I'm just going to color in seven. If they're not green, I need to count because I need to see what's left over. You guys ready? Nope, you're not ready? All right, pause the video if you need more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's left over? Six. So you could put a little six up here if you like. Give it a little circle. That way you already know what your answer is. Okay, if you haven't done it already, let's jump on down to the number line. If you have done it, 
Stay with us. See if you got the answers you're looking for. Now we know it's a subtraction, so we're going to have to go to the left. We have to bounce backwards. So what number should we be starting on? The biggest number, you're right. In subtraction, you have to do the biggest number. And then how many did it say to go backwards? We have to jump back. Always check your data up here. Seven. And then we had taken out seven from our 10 frames. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are right. What number did you come up with? Circle that number. Does it match the number you used up here? Perfect. Okay, let's head on down to our number bond, captain and co-captains. Adding and subtracting, it's really important to put that biggest number in the captain's chair. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and find the biggest number and put it in the captain's chair. Yeah, the number is 13. Now we have two other numbers we are working with. The number they told us to get rid of and what we had now left over. So these two numbers we need to work with now. Does it matter where those numbers go? The captain's chair is already taken, so where can it go now? In the co-captain's chairs, right. So it doesn't matter who goes on top or bottom. Let's put those numbers right in there. All right. Let's go ahead and do our equation. We'll save our answer statement for tomorrow. So here's the equation. What number do we have? What did we take away? What's left over? So I'm going to help you with just this first part. How many in, uh, how many birds did we have in the cage to start with? Check back up in here in your data. How many did we start with? Perfect. That's all I'm going to do for you. Finish this, we'll do the answer statement tomorrow. This right here. is going to take away how many birds flew. What were left. And then when we do our answer statement, it's going to be super awesome. Our answer statement, we're going to figure out the who. The wit, the what, the how many. Sometimes we have to know where they flew where. They flew away. Depends on how big your sentence is. All right. If you're not done with that, no worries. Pause the video. Meet me over in letter page M. Here we go. Okay, always remember when you're prepared to put your name secret code at the top and we're going to start on the letter M, M page. Right up here is our capital M. Remember the names of our lines, skyline, plain line, grass line. In here I just call it the digger line. We have to get into the dirt and some of our letters. All right, here we go. So in this one, we're going to start way over here on this side. We're going to make a nice long leg from the skyline to the grass line. Here we go. Okay. 
Now I see I made a little bit of a mistake. I'm going to go ahead and erase mine because I know if you were in class, I would have you erase it. Let me try that again. Okay. Then I come back to the skyline. I slide down to the grass line, climb back up to the skyline and drop back to the grass line. So these are slides, climbs, and just drops. Let's try that again. Drop, come back up, slide, climb, drop. Perfect, that was our capital M. Come on down here to our lowercase m. We're going to start on the plane line, going to the grass line. Okay, we're going to go from the plane line, we're going to drop right to the grass line. And from here, you can bounce, just be careful, don't make loops. You can bounce back up to the plane line, round it, bounce down to the grass line, bounce up to the plane line, down to the grass line. Kind of like we do our math, we just bounce. All right, let's do it together. Down, up, down, up, down. Awesome, that was our lowercase m. Please make sure that you are doing extra over here. There's some lowercase m's down here with the words. See if you can sound out those words. There's one of those compound words again with two words smashed together. Add a few more words that you know from around the house, sight words, maybe even it could be your name. Mason, I'm gonna use your name today because we need to do a capital letter when we call somebody by their name, we're writing their name. Or we can just do now this is mom's name, you guys, but unless I give it to her with her real name, or we're talking like Mother's Day, you always don't have to capitalize it, but you can. But Mason's name, we definitely had to capitalize today. Okay, find some other M words around your house, add them to there. If you're not quite done up here doing your extras or finding some of those other sight words, pause the video. And I'm gonna meet you guys over in Sunshine Syllables. Remember, name and secret code at the top. Sunshine syllables. If you're on a page that has a plane, you're right in the right spot. So I'm going to do a couple of these with you. And then I want you to work on them with your family. Some of you guys can probably do it by yourselves. Now this gives you a choice. Does airplane have two syllables or three? Well, remember, you can snap it out, tap it out, whatever you want to do. Um, they don't have any tappers here for us to do that, so we're just going to snap it out. Airplane. How many times did you hear me snap? Airplane. How many? Two. Oops. So you would circle or color in the number two. How about down here? It says it's either one syllable or three. You can call it a boat or a ship. A boat. Okay, cool. Here we go. Ready? Boat. Again, boat. How many times did you hear me snap? You're right. One time, guys. Awesome. 
Now you're going to turn that page over because there is more sunshine. Syllables over here. Now remember, check the picture. If you're not sure, leave it blank. You can send me a message on Dojo. You can comment on the video and I can get right back to you. So try out some of this. Send me a picture of your work. Send me a picture of your face. I miss you guys very much. That's all we have for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.